Okay, in this video we're going to look at the case of the matrix exponential when we have a real 2 by 2 matrix but it has complex conjugate eigenvalues. So let's recall that the matrix exponential is given by this Taylor series expansion of e to the x evaluated at the matrix A. And then further, if A has complex conjugate eigenvalues, A plus minus BI, then its eigenvectors are also complex conjugates. So we'll call them V and V bar. So that means you only have to calculate one eigenvector and you get the other one for free. You know that it's the complex conjugate. And that's because everything is real. Now the next thing, if we set P equal to this diagonalizing matrix, V, V bar, so in other words, the matrix whose columns are the eigenvectors of A, then P inverse AP is given by the following diagonal matrix. So we have A plus BI up here and A minus BI down here. Okay, so uh, now let's move towards finding the matrix exponential in this case. So here we have also the following. So we can write A equals P and then one, sorry, A plus BI, zero, zero, A minus BI, and then P inverse. So that's just from moving this equation around. But now notice that that very uh, cleanly gives us A to the N equals P A plus B I to the N zero zero A minus B I to the N P inverse. Okay, great. Now the next thing that we can do is calculate this e to the a. Notice that's going to be the sum n equals zero to infinity of so it'll be one over n factorial a to the n. But now we'll replace a to the n with what we wrote over there. So this is going to be the sum n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over n factorial p. Then here we have a plus bi to the n 0, 0, a minus bi to the n, and then p inverse. Okay. So now I'm going to factor P out of the left to P inverse out of the right, and then I'm going to put my sums inside of the matrix. So that's going to give me P, and then I've got this big matrix that has the sum N equals 0 to infinity of 1 over N factorial A plus BI to the N here. And then I have 0, 0, and then the sum N equals 0 to infinity of um, 1 over N factorial A minus BI to the n here, and then finally p inverse. But now it's not too hard to see that uh, here we have p, and then this sum becomes e to the a plus bi. So this is e to the a plus bi, 0, 0, e to the a minus bi, and now we have p inverse. So notice that this is the same thing as P times e to the a, e to the a, e to the bi, 0, 0, e to the a, um, e to the minus bi, P inverse. Great. And then from there, you can multiply by P and P inverse. And since they have uh, complex conjugates as their columns, what you'll end up with in the end is a real matrix. Now I think you can certainly prove that, but I think it's like a little too technical and maybe not super worth it um, to look at all of the details. Um, but uh, instead we'll look at an example. Okay. So now we're going to look at an example. Let's look at this A, which is the matrix 1, minus 5, 10, minus 1. So we need to look at the characteristic polynomial of A first, um, and then we can find its eigenvectors and eigenvalues and move towards finding its matrix exponential. So the characteristic po polynomial will be the determinant of x times i minus a. So notice that's going to be the determinant of x minus 1, and then 5, because we're subtracting this, and then minus 10, and then finally, uh, x plus 1. Okay, now using the determinant formula, that gives us x minus 1 times x plus 1 um, plus 50. So that's going to be x squared minus 1 plus 50, but that's going to be x squared plus 49. But now notice, that gives us x squared equals negative 49, 
which tells us x equals plus minus 7i. So there we've got it. We've got our eigenvalues, and they are complex conjugates. So we have one, which is 7i, and the other one, which is negative 7i. And recall that their eigenvectors will be complex conjugates of each other as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the eigenvectors. So in this case, we need to look at the null space of um, 7i times capital I, the identity matrix, minus A. So that's going to be the null space of the matri matrix that we get when we plug 7i into that. So that's going to give us 7i minus 1, 5, minus 10, and then finally uh, 7i plus 1. Okay? So now uh, notice we can maybe multiply the first row by 7i plus 1. And if we do 7i plus 1 times that row, what are we going to get? We're going to get negative 49 minus 1. So we're going to get negative 50 here. Okay, and then we're going to get uh, 5 times 7i plus 1 here, and then we didn't change the second row, so we have negative 10, and then we have 7i plus 1. Now, it's super clear that these two rows are multiples of each other, so we can multiply this one by a fifth and maybe subtract it from that one if you want to, but notice what we get is... <clears throat> This reduces, I forgot my null space there, so this is the same thing as the null space of, so we have minus 10, and then 7i plus 1, 0, 0. Okay, good. So there's our uh, null space. So that means that if uh, x comma y is in the null space, that tells us that uh, negative 10, 7i plus 1, 0, 0 times xy equals the zero vector, which tells us that minus 10x plus 7i plus 1y equals zero, which tells us maybe the best way to do it is that x equals 1 over 10 times 7i plus 1 times y. And then y is a free variable. So uh, notice that maybe we could let y equal to 10, and that will give us the following. So if we let y be 10, we get x is 7i plus 1. Okay. And then, because these are complex conjugates, this one has an uh, eigenvector, which is a complex conjugate of this one. So in other words, it is seven, uh, it's negative 7i plus 1, 10. Okay, so I'll clean up the board and then we'll pick up from that spot. Okay, so we found our eigenvectors and eigenvalues. So that this tells us the following. This tells us that uh, if we set P equal to uh, 7i plus 1, 10, se negative 7i plus 1, 10, and that will give us the following for P inverse. So P inverse is a little bit trickier. So that's minus i over 14 right there. And then we have 1 over 20 plus 1 over 140i there. And then down here we have i over 14. And then finally in the lower right we have 1 over 12 minus 1 over 140i. Okay, good. So again, I'll let you guys check that, but that's what you get for P inverse. And then finally, uh, we have A will be given by uh, P times 7i uh, minus 7i, 0, 0, P inverse. From this thing that we talked about over here, where we take the complex conjugate, which tells us that e to the a is equal to p, and then we have e to the 7i, 0, 0, e to the minus 7i, p inverse. But now what we can use is Euler's formula to write that in terms of sines and cosines. So this is going, going to be p, and now we have uh, cosine 
of 7 plus i sine of 7, 0, 0. And then down here we have cosine of 7 minus i sine of 7. And then times p inverse in the end. Okay, now finally, if we multiply by p and p inverse carefully, we'll get the following. So we'll get cosine 7 uh, plus 1 over 7 sine 7. And then we have minus 5 over 7 sine 7. And then down here we have uh, 10 over 7 sine 7. And then finally here we have uh, cosine 7 minus 1 over 7 sine 7. So that's the exponential of our original matrix. Okay, that's the end of the video.